Hi guys, how are you? Hope you're doing very good today. And today we're going to talk uh, about the the latching. What is latching? I think latching somebody will uh, connect this word with like uh, make something like uh, continue, and that's very very correct. You know why? Because latching is to have the the power connected to the actuator or connected to the, your motor once you request it to work continue working without need you to take care about it so let's give an example to make this thing to be very clear so here you can see here uh, a motor and the push button and battery or a source for a voltage to the motor so to connect the motor to the uh, power source so you need to just to connect by pressing the push button the your motor will continue spinning but the problem is once you release your uh, hand from the uh, push button you found the motor stop again so you need your operator to continue pressing the motor as long as pressing the uh, push button as long as the motor needed to be run and that's impossible or something very funny so latching here is to just by clicking this push button you guarantee the motor keep spinning forever until you're requesting it to stop again so let's see how we can do this in the old fashion in the control uh, relay control logic before the uh, BLCs and the ladder logic which we are talking about today and they train you to be uh, expert of the future in programming the BLCs using the ladder logic programming so this is the way as you can see here we're connecting the uh, motor by using a relay so here our motor will be like here here is the motor and you can see this is m your motor so your motor just connected one wire here will be connected to the uh the voltage okay the power source well, for example like i will say here the 24 voltage for your motor yes okay so this voltage will be like connected to your motor for example and then your motor connected to one terminal of the uh, contactor of the relay and the other terminal for sure will be connected to the ground like this okay so once the push button pressed the power source will be applied to the coil of the relay and this contact will be closed like this and once this coil is closed so the motor now enjoy powering by the 24 voltage but once i release this one this one like was this when you place it but once you release your hand again this this is no longer here so this coil has no power then this thing will return back to its position like this one this one become open again this one become open again and the motor will stop so what we can do to solve this problem yes people has done something very 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 intelligent which is like by connecting this point like this here by pressing the first time so this this coil will be energized with the uh, power supply and this circuit will be closed like this so then this circuit will, will close and the motor for sure become here in this point like this here's the motor okay and the motor connected to 
one with this wire, okay, and the other one with this wire. So now the motor, even when you release this thing again, like this, open the circuit, this circuit, so no energize here, no problem. You know why? Why? Because I already guarantee by this contact another way for the coil to have the power and keep this contact connected forever until until what yes until i need a way to release this latching or to stop this latching to let the motor stop again so the intelligent thing is to having this thing which is a stop button because once this thing is pressed here which is this is the start and this is the stop okay so this one will close so a permanent source here for the motor so the motor is here okay sorry i'm not the lower i'm not good in drawing so but at least we need to to, to do something at least readable so this is the motor so what happened is this is one source okay and the other source is here so the motor will be connected forever so now if i press this one so this one for sure this one now become open so if i press this one it will be open and disconnect the other way of the power to the coin so this one become open again and the motor will stop so let's practice this in the BLC. Moving to the BLC, let's enjoy this in our BLC with a new project, guys. So now you understood the way how electrician have made this electrically by wiring the latching and they have the way to stop. So they have a start and stop push button and the using the one contact of the uh, relays of the uh, uh, one contact of the relay and I will start from beginning so I'm gonna delete all this stuff like I don't need all this stuff okay like this okay and we can start so I have two push button one for start and one for stop and this is my motor okay so now this is the start and this is the stop and this is my motor okay so this is the first case I'm sorry the first case I have just a push button like this so Let's simulate this thing and see. So this thing here, you can imagine this is which one? This is the first version, like that version, okay? Uh, uh, yeah, I think so this one. So this is the relay, and this is the uh, start push button. Okay, so you can see here, if you just like trying, We need to just start in our simulator. Open simulator like here, run simulator. So now, once I move this one to on, like pressing, pressing meaning like this, just pressing, so it is on. But once I release my hand from the push button, the motor will stop. So what we have done in the first step is to making a latching. So what is latching? Latching to have another way, okay, which I get one contact from the relay of the motor, like this, and just take copy from this here, and when we update this program, like this, okay, so once I start pressing my push button like this, I am pressing now, so it is open. Oh, so let's see if I release my hand. Oh, oh, this one released, but still running the motor. It is spinning because 
there is another way to give the power to the motor, which is the contact I took from the relay, and I make it another backup of this start switch to guarantee the motor has a power, therefore it is spinning. But now there is no way, as you can see, to stop the motor. So I need to put something here to stop the motor. That's it. That was what we have done here. You can see in our presentation here, there is no way to, to, to stop. Okay, so we go into another way to put a stop push button to cut this wire and stop the latching. So I need here just to adding stop push button, which is starting and normally closed. So this one is a stop. And now it's running and see, updating the program, running and see. So now this is starting the scenario from the beginning. So assuming this one also is off. Okay. So this is the, the starting scenario. So starting scenario is like I press, then the motor energized, then I release my hand, so still energized due to this contact. So now there is a way here, once I activate or press this switch, it will stop the latching. That's the latching, and it is very, very important. Very, very important. You can find one program, even a small program, without latching, because you need to latch your output. Is this uh, the only way to latch uh, your output? No, there is another way, which is set and reset. So you can simply here, compare this thing like, this is another output, I can use it. Okay, so what I need to do is, like just, this is the contact, which is start, okay? But instead of this one, I will just select the set, okay? And because there is a set, so it should be reset to have a way to stop this motor. So again, this one, this one, and this one is a reset. So this is a stop to reset motor. Very easy, very easy. But professionally, Professionally, I like to make it latching like this way because you might both set and reset through all your program and forget one reset somewhere. So you have a problem because you set it, you set your motor here or your system here, but you forget to reset it at some situation which needs the motor to stop or the piston to stop. So there is a problem, but here should be like all condition for stop will be here all condition for start will be parallel here that's it so you're starting with your motor or your actuator asking yourself what is the thing that needs that needs this motor to running and what is the thing that need the motor to stop so both them here in parallel to be or 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 all condition or for starting your motor and both them here in series for any one of them is energized will stop the motor okay so let's try the set and reset so here I need to just up, up, update my program okay simulate and here you can see don't know why this one ah because stop is, is, is above so this is, for example, the initial condition like this. So I just click start. That's it. Set. Okay. And it keeps it until I request this one to reset. Okay. But yeah, now as I, 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 I select this one to reset, but reset and another set coming, you know, this and this and this and so on this and this and this and so on so this is make reset this is make a reset you can see it now because the program run very very fast okay 
thank you for watching <coughs> and i hope to see you in the next video for our bdc ladder logic programming tutorial thank you very much and hope you enjoy our series <coughs>